Okay, first of all, the encounter with the wolves is too hard to fight right now, even for normal difficulty, so it will be reducing the number of wolves. That's good. Yeah, they killed Amiri, uh, from what I remember. Check the random encounter generation rules. But yeah, if you're having trouble with this, especially early on, there's no shame in turning the difficulty down uh, considerably. No one's going to blame you. Scorched fragment of a necklace. Ooh! Shard of a destroyed artifact. If you find all the fragments, an artisan with enough skill could restore it for you. That's cool. I'll have to hold on to some of these things. I'm fine with that. There's also a letter I should probably read, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, a crumpled letter. Ooh, we should probably lose some of that scale mail. Anyway, my dear Kenneth Palmer, Plamer, with your desire to pursue new archaeological... Uh, wait, no. With your desire to pursue a new archaeological mission in mind, I spent a few hours in my library today and identified a location worthy of your research. In the northeastern part of the River Kingdoms lies a region called the Stolen Lands. Many antiques can be found in such places. No doubt an inquisitive researcher would be able to find coin, old coins, significant cultural re remnants, and even pieces of artifacts that might be re restored. Naturally, you shall require the services of a specialist to evaluate your findings during your travels. I have no doubt of your ability to recruit such a specialist once you arrive in the Stolen Lands. Such contacts can typically be made in large cities or settlements. You would not want to return... You would not want your return journey encumbered with items of scant value or interest, after all. Before you set off, it's my obligation to warn you that this place is untamed and can be perilous. Watch not only for bandits and monsters, but also impassable swamps, dangerous open plains. Should you decide to visit the Stolen Lands, I strongly urge you, Kenneth, to hire a professional guide. And better yet, guards. It's wise to take precautions. I should appreciate it greatly if you return with a few amusing, sorry, curiosities for me. As a token of our friendship, your friend, Agneth Bregan. I should probably outlet, outfit the entire party in ranged weapons so I can, uh, I can start combat with a ranged hit or two. Personally, I can't wait until we get fireball. That makes life so much easier. Though, admittedly, I don't think I'd ever waste fireballs on giant frogs. Oh, that was quick. Ah, oh, dang. Frag! Unfortunately, uh, cannot loot frag, frag legs off of anything here. But yeah, to go with what I was saying earlier, uh, Mira just took a random stray hit for six damage. And unlike, um, ooh, ow. Uh, unlike most other games where, yeah, you just kind of heal out of combat or healing spells come back pretty quick, in D&D, like, uh, small amounts of damage add up fast, and it's hard to recover from it, at least early on. Ow. I wrote it like I saw it. DC 21. Protect me, please. What is up here? Was this worth it? Kinda? It was. What's the quick load? I... I don't know if people care about this, but I'm gonna save Scum so we don't take stupid amounts of damage on this one. Do people care that much? I kinda wish I could also have her just go up. Cause I wouldn't mind so much if she took damage, but it's the whole party. This won't I'm kill sorry. me. I survive. I always survive. I always survive. I wonder what I always survive. I killed the party trying to climb a tree. <laughs> Woo boy. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this until I can climb it straight. Uh, skill checks are mean. I failed. Oh my god, 18 damage. This is a mean tree. I don't... I, uh, this is one killer tree. Like, the thing is, she's got a plus 8 on mobility, which means... It should be like a close to a 50% success rate on that thing, and that tree destroys you. That's a tough tree to climb. Well, it's okay, I got time travel powers. <clears throat> Screw you, tree! Oh god, never mind. 
I want to play a D&D campaign, probably as a one-off. Every single party member gets to choose one RPG character ability. Uh, so, heal after combat, saving and loading, stuff like that. And they all they all get the ability. I'm sorry. Jesus. This is tough. These these dice are mean. But like <laughs> uh, I don't know, I just I really like the idea of, of uh And Lindsay was called forth. Of a uh, There we please. go. Flawless. Got in one. No one no one saw that save, saving and loading. That didn't happen. That's lost to the ether. Let's see, do we have encumbrance on them? It shouldn't matter in this case. Don't you have like Oh, we already failed to pick the lock. Well, piss biscuits. Can I hit it? Let's see, try it without her armor. Actually, Amiri is not wearing armor. I took it off a while ago. And haven't put her uh put it back on her. Actually, there's there's some leather armor that she can wear. There we go. Yeah, no no uh no penalty. Anyway, I guess that that uh chest is is dead to us, but whatever. I'm not gonna save scum that much. Yeah, trees OP, please please shop. I thought these frogs were alive for a second. They really do kinda look alive there. Let's see, if you're not rushed normally, you can take a 20. Yeah! Actually, why is that not a thing in this game? Encumbrance does not usually affect skill checks. Yeah, just movement speed and a couple other things. Uh, it's... the hell is that? That's a little Anything is possible. Actually, do we have a bow? We do have a couple of bows on these characters. Is that a composite longbow? Hell yeah. I'm gonna try something. Okay, so we want to switch weapon sets. I don't know how long it takes to switch. Can we... Well... Because here's the thing. Most of these guys are melee fighters, but they should still be pretty accurate. Repent! Blood Pecorum! I'm listening. We might as well try, uh... Especially if there's no enemy involved. We might as well just always load into combat uh, with like an opening salvo, see if we can do some extra damage to these characters. And she is down. Ah, oh, damn! That's a worms are mean. Wait. What the? What? 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 Uh, okay. Uh, I think this is a bug. No, we're attacking with- no, wait, no, no, no. Valerie attacks with the Masterwork Bastard Sword. Yeah, so this is a new bug. Um, so Valerie, uh, when I told her to switch weapons, she did, numerically. But, uh... Yeah, numerically it switched over, but visually, she's still swinging a crossbow around. Which is kind of the funniest thing ever. I am firing at this guy, right? Yeah. It's not very accurate. And nobody else took damage. But, uh, Amiri... Oof. Alright, whatever. Let's get some heals up. Wow, really? Three HP. I mean, the second one was, wasn't so bad. Alright, that's better. Okay, so the opening salvo worked better than I could have possibly imagined, if only because it broke in the weirdest possible way. Well, we got some more kobolds up here. Oh, is this the rune? 
Entrance to the mine has been recently cleared. It appears the Copalts have made use of this path. Okay, so we'll we'll find uh We'll find window bait down there. Let's keep looking around though. If I can secure another level up before I go uh inside, that'd be lovely. The oh, hello. Is there a What's here? Oh, it's just telling me there's a bunch of cobalts here. Don't find us. Oh. Well, there's another uh there's another spot we should probably use mobility on. I again hoping I can get some uh levels. Oof. I'm gonna have to dump stuff before I leave this area. We are carrying a lot of armor. Hopefully we can find like a cobalt merchant. That would make me real happy. Athletics DLC, uh, DC, Overgrown Passage. There's a bunch of these, like, sly little spots. Which I'm down for. Oh, but they're gonna be tough. Are they marked on the map? I really wish they were. Can I mark them myself, actually? It's interesting that I can give them orders on the map and where to go. That's kind of nice. But yeah, Slope might is probably OP, too OP for now. Because uh, Amiri's... Amiri would have to roll an 18 or higher, and she's our Beth... Uh, Beth. Best uh, athleticist, which is kind of tough. That's not... Those are not good odds. Let's see, so Pathfinder means D&D, &D, right? Yeah, so uh, the story behind Pathfinder is actually kind of cool. So Wizards of the Wizards of the Coast before Wizard before the Wizards of the Coast picked up Dungeons and Dragons, uh, D and D was owned by TSR. I don't actually remember what TSR was, uh, but they were known as they sue regularly for anybody that even got close to any of their products and some some other stuff. Dead man's face is set in a mask of terror. The body is covered in burns. Save before we do the nature check, just in case. Oh, sweet goodies. Uh, but so, Wizards of the Coast bought out D&D, which was going bankrupt, kind of, sort of. Because they are wasting all their money on, like, fancy chairs and meaningless garbage. And so, Wizards of the Coast picked up uh, D&D and more or less was like, Alright, let's make D&D 3rd Edition, let's do it right. So, not only did they, uh, you know, make a legitimately good... Uh, they made a legitimately good system... Um, they made a fantastic system, honestly. Uh, but what they did was they also said it's open, open source. Anybody, anybody has access to this. There, are, uh, you know, there, there's. We're not going to sue anybody. You know, there's a couple of like no goes, like Draco liches and beholders and whatnot. So in Pathfinder, you won't find Draco liches. You will find other things. Uh, similar to, I, I don't remember the name of them. Oh, I could camp here. I don't want to camp here, though. We could camp, but I don't, I don't need it right now. Um, but effectively, uh, effectively they made the whole third, uh, 3.0 system and 3.5 system open source, uh, and allowed anybody to contribute to the books, which is why you found, like, the whole sword and sorcery brand and a bunch of other off-brand D&D books that actually fit really well with the game. Um, but towards the end of uh, Dungeons & Dragons 3.5's lifespan, a uh, company, Paizo, which I think have been making, producing minifigures and stuff uh, up until then. They've been making like some stuff, but they hadn't made the system. They effectively took the 3.5 rule set and updated it a bunch and improved it in some ways, rebalanced some things, nerfed the hell out of druids. Uh, and like streamline stuff and then they were like, okay, so now that we've got the baseline rules of 3.5 uh, Into kind of effectively 3.75 Then they just started adding like a crazy amount of extra stuff and now they've got a sci-fi version and Tons of adventures a lot of extra rule books. I don't actually know if there's more books uh, mainline books for Pathfinder or 3.5 at this point um, But so uh, So Apart from that, they're also coming up with Pathfinder 2nd Edition in... 
I think a year within a year and so they're streamlining further adding some new things rebalancing spellcasters early game so it doesn't suck so much and a bunch of other stuff um but so uh it, you could say it's a clone of D&D &D and you'd be accurate but I think that would be unfair to Paizo for what they've done. Because they actually have done a great job with this. Anyway, let's save scum the crap out of this chest. As you do in D&D. &D. Oh, got it on the first try. Alright, perfect. Distance. Anyway. Oh, hey, Evac. Fantastic. Really excited to see what this game's like. A lot of your viewers have been asking about it. Asking if you'd check it out. Shamefully, you know little about Pathfinder. Well, if you want, uh... I wouldn't step, step, mind step. doing some uh, Pathfinder one-offs with YouTuber buddies if you ever want to join us, Evac. Because I would, I would actually love to have uh, uh, branch out a little bit and have some other people on. Pathfinder is referred to as 3.6 by veterans. I've heard plenty of people call it 3.75 as well. And that's what I've always been calling it, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, Pathfinder is a fantastic system. They did a lot of really, really good things with it. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Does that climb a hill? Thing kind of meaningless it might actually be but yeah so uh, I guess a vacuum if you've ever played any of the other uh, if you've ever played any other CRPGs this is probably gonna feel pretty similar uh, which is good Baldur's Gate and the like especially I don't really trust these a kobold lying in the middle of the patch calls out to you judging by the sorry state of his scales he's the eldest of the group his red eyes squint from the light, and his throat struggles to form words. A patch, a celestial radish. Ick. Radishes, we grew them back in my village. One day, while I was reading a book, my pa grabbed me, grabbed it from me and threw it into the fire. Then he made me go pick radishes. It was autumn, and the ground was wet and cold. And there were worms everywhere. Ah, filthy roots. About that radish. The oldest kobold shifts his head from the ground and tries to focus his eyes on you. Wait, what is going on? Are, are they like sick and dying? Like, it, it feels like I'm trying to steal radishes from them, but they're dying? Okay, they're enough. There's enough radishes for everyone. You mustn't forbid others from using what grows freely in the forest. I'll take out as much as I need. The old kobold remains silent for a time, wrinkling his forehead. Finally lifting a finger solemnly, he announces, You chew, and let chew. Pleased with his verdict, he turns over on his side. The other kobolds break out into delighted hissing. What are- what are you doing here? What is- what is this? What did I do? To the radish, search for secret truth, big or small and big. Oh, I see. They're they're drug addled. That's what. The kobolds who are lying nearby answer with a devout murmur. At least those who aren't sleeping. Oh, little philosophers, aren't they? Wouldn't expect that. Wouldn't expect. Why don't you join the war against the mites? Mites, silly, but soot scale also. There are more important things in life. The kobold punctuates his words with a burp, and the others hiss in approval. Well, bye. This is... funky. Can I just, like, wander around? They're not going to attack me walking past? I could try and grab more, but I bet that would go bad. Yeah, so moon radishes apparently are psychoactive or something. Moon, moon radish. Bunch of moon radish. It's not even worth anything. What the devil? I'm going to quick save. Let's see if we can just grab a bunch, because they are worth some amount. Oh, nope. I must go. Okay, so they don't they don't like it if I touch any more of their moon radishes. They gave me one though. Let's see, descend the hill. So I straight up didn't even Oh hey, dead copalts. Sure I'm not getting the EXP for it, but I'm getting the guilt free loot afterwards. <laughs> oh god, shambling mount. Oh, wait, it's not, it's not actually aggressive. Okay. I like shambling mounts. They're weird, but they're cool. I'm just going to keep saving and saving and can I, no, 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 don't fight it. Don't fight it. I mean, I could fight it. I'm not actually, I mean, it doesn't seem dangerous. It's just kind of here. What's this? The body of a woman fouled beyond recognition. Her fingers still clench a torn leather leash. Ooh, 
Is that... It's either plus one or masterwork chain shirt. I'm not sure. G uh, lab journal. Went into the woods, found many roots, pine cones, flowers, and a dead squirrel. Scant little I can make of that. I must consider where I gain rare ingredients for my experiments. Some Danimal raccoons got into the hut while I was exploring the woods. Broke all the glassware. The only things left are ten flat, flat bottom glass tubes, five round bottom flasks, a couple of porcelain mortars, three pestles, and a precious spiral. Good thing all the pots are still there. So many good alchemical, uh, so many good chemicals wasted. Shame. Need to lock everything up in the closet. Tried to finish the experiment today. The one I started at the old lab. Use the lead powder from the master's box. At the crystallization stage, the liquid foamed, changed color, and formed a deposit. Another unsuccessful experiment, and I've all but exhausted my supply of essential materials. I'm gonna do information. There we go. Caught a raccoon with a snare trap. Didn't get the bastard to the hut. Uh, didn't get the bastard to the hut this time. Perhaps I should ask some hunters for help in catching experimental subjects. But I must save money. Besides, I see how those bumpkins scowl at me, as if I've grown horns. Third attempt at the crystallization experiment. Broke the last bottom, ra last round bottom flask. Recall my tutor calling me ham-handed and making me clean up. Perhaps he was right, but he didn't teach me much, despite everything. But why didn't he wish me to develop my abilities? Didn't he want me to learn everything beyond the basic potion recipes? Kept saying I wasn't ready, but in truth he feared the student surpassing the teacher. For good reason, I shall prove this process works. I'll prove it to everyone. Today an old lady came from the nearby village asking me to make her goats yield more milk. I had to help. I'm in desperate need of money. Oh, why must I spend my time so... Boring, boring, boring! Several pages remain empty. And the writing is continue. Observation day one. Uh, finally, I got the... I finally got the chance I can't miss. I found a dying elf in the woods. She was barely breathing, and ants were swarming all over her. Who is she? What happened to her? Matters not. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. With great effort, I managed to drag her to the hut, remove her clothes, and hide her behind the bags in the corner. Enough for... Enough wasting my talents on trifles. It's time for action. Use the largest glass tube from the master's box, the one with the warning. In case of contact with skin, wash off immediately. Ha! Doddering old... Doddering parrot of all the standard warnings. I spread it evenly over her body and began my observations. This Observation day three. The subject who survived had to tie her up and gag her. The moaning could attract unwanted attention. Her skin is changing, but it's hard to determine the precise character of the changes. The early stages of festering, perhaps? The treated areas do smell faintly. Observation day five. The changes continue faster and faster. The epidermis is festered away. The joints are grown swollen, tough, and calloused. The subject has a fever. Observation day nine. Over the last few days, the subject's le legs became covered with mildew and moss. Her fingers and toes grew long and crooked. As though she would grow into the ground? I shall move the subject outside. The experiment now demands sunlight. Observation Day 13. The body's changes are so significant it's impossible to recall a creature's, the creature's original appearance. From the way it looks now, a seething growth covers the whole body's surface. Every day I find new kinds of moss, mildew, grass, and other plants. The subject attempt, attempts to move. I had to immobilize her. I tried to make contact, but she utters inarticulate sounds, alike to howling. Might intelligence be restored at a further stage of regeneration? Day 18. The subject has grown larger several times. She's now strangely quiet these last few days. I'm beginning to worry. In the end, I see I've become attached to her. She'll make me famous. Observation Day 25. My living experiment shows all signs of obedience. She's much like a little tree. A magnificent walking tree. She's already eight feet tall, and the child keeps growing. I wish to give her space, more fresh air, and sunlight. I suspect we shall need some fertilizer. For now, I only walk her around the woods on a leash. This is the greatest achievement of my career. Soon we'll be ready to journey to Absalom. And there, they will present my masterpiece. I must think of a name for my girl. Okay, potion cure light wounds. Restoration lesser. Well, that's messed up. Also, thank you, Drew, one PK, PKT, for the sub. Yeah, how's it going? D and D. So, this is interesting. So, this is the researcher, crazy woman. Now we have the potion of restoration, but I don't know if I can actually use it on her. I wonder if we could come back later. No, nope. don't kill her. 
Okay. I'm assuming a potion restoration would be a uh, tall order in this situation. I doubt it would do anything. Yeah, abs obviously the Shambling Mound is her. Was called for. Nope, that didn't work. Ways of a potion. So, I wonder if we can... I don't want to fight the Shambling Mound. I'm not sure if we could fix her. Well, either way, I'm not going to fight it. That's awful. I mean, maybe leaving her like that equally awful? I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. What is this? Token of the Dryad. Ooh, fancy. Perception is by far probably... Perception and diplomacy or persuasion or whatever are the, like, two best skills in D&D. &D. Don't at me. I have, no, I have no idea. I mean, there's a couple other, like, kind of good edge casey ones, but those two... Those two win campaigns. I guess we can go up here. Oh, hello. Death. I guess they did just kill each other. Sweet. Okay, that looks like a concern. Do I want fireball? I am yours to command. Done with waiting. Well, what do we do? Do we try and do we try and try and do the uh, the opening salvo and see what happens? We could do it. Yes, I'm still here. But swimming is the best skill. Not until epic level. At that point, you can swim up waterfalls, which is when it becomes. Oh God! I made a mistake. Maybe? They might not be so bad. What do I have? I don't have a whole lot of AoEs. I should never have gone with shield. That was stupid. Jolt. I got a lot of kind of semi-useless cantrips here. Well. Okay, so she has... Can we rage? That would be a good round. Uh, time for rage. Do we have anything else? We could fight defensively. I wonder if she'd ever die. Okay, do we do Bane? Yeah, let's do Bane. Okay, we should probably switch him back to melee, considering he's going to be fighting this guy. Okay, so we're actually rolling through these things in seconds. I might have overestimated how strong these cat-dog murder monsters are. Yeah, considerably so. You probably should stop raiding, raging. Is she done? Yeah, she's done. Okay, well, I was honestly expecting something a little bit tougher than that. But, hey. I spy. Worth what it. do I spy? Yeah, it looked like mistakes. Usually you don't want to pick on that many enemies, but uh we did not miss. Repent. Ugh. Giant cent centipede's not my favorite. Definitely not my favorite. At least they don't do too much damage, but still. When I saw all of those, I thought reloading coming. I know! I it's like I I I straight up, I'm gonna be safe scumming a fair bit during this series, but like... I saw that and I was like, my finger was slowly inching for it, and then we just one-shot the thing, and I was like, oh, I, I guess not. Well, let's see how our luck goes. I I'm sorry. Oh, it's entangled. <laughs> well, I'm stuck here for a little while. I mean, I probably could walk out. How long does, uh, Entangle last for? 
I mean, I guess we might as well tell them to start moving. Let me guess. More entangle? So it looks like we're just really slow. We're not totally stuck, at least outside of combat. That's actually a good system. I like this. I was like, well, I can't move. And it's like, oh, wait, no, no, I can. That's actually kind of nice. Oh, I got some more mites. Let's scroll in and look at what these things. I don't like the looks of them. They make me weirdly uncomfortable. Okay, so this is this is the mite home tree. The roots previously blocking the way were pulled apart by magic or some mechanism. We also have a chest down here. What else do we have? There's actually... Uh, we still haven't found the warg. Which is something I'm not exactly keen on, but we should do it anyway. I just get the feeling the warg's going to wreck my business. Anything else? Climb the hill. Is there... Which hill are we talking? Is this just this hill? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna quick save. I think I just quick saved like a madman. And oh, okay. I found the warg. Oh well, I found the wolf. Okay, might as well just help with him. Uh, might as well fight defensively. Her accuracy is atrocious, but it's probably better that she doesn't die. Uh, let's see, we don't have any more healing. Okay, we're probably going to want to camp before we go into the... Um... We're going to want to camp before we get into the, the cave system. Okay. You two you two are mildly useless here. Pa for game named Pathfinder. Particularly bad at pathfinding. We'll survive. And we'll she's down. Survive. Great. Oh, there goes the wolf. Okay, Amiri, you have taken some damage. How do we fix this? I'm assuming yeah, she's out of heals. I guess that'll have to do for now. I wonder if... I wonder if... Wait, no, no. I don't think you can speak with animals in this game. I really like that in Divinity Original Sin. The inclusion of... Of speaking with animals was really, really clever, classy. Let's shake a leg. Uh, and Don't it had some interesting it. applications. Maybe never never enough to really make it worth it. But it'd be pretty funny if you could actually just recruit like all the wolves here. Was not in vain. Yeah, so we have a lot of healing potions. I'm betting the wargs just up ahead. This looks like warg territory. Rakaka. Okay, uh I've got I got healing potions enough. I'm trying to avoid resting as much as possible. Um, largely because, well, I could rest. Uh, ooh. Chair leaned back a little bit too far. Well, I could rest. Um, that takes away vital. Uh, like, vital time from the campaign, and I don't quite like that. It, I wonder if we can actually talk to these guys. It's a question. Let's do one channel energy. I didn't actually realize that how much damage he had taken. Okay. Now, we don't have any buff spells at this point. And is she had a Bardic song? No. Okay, so Bardic Inspiration can and will be a us. thing. So let's send Valerie in first. The beast before you is unusually large and its eyes especially angry. Its menacing grin might almost be taken for a smirk. Greetings, Traveler. Before you draw your weapon, I wish to... S I wish to say I see no reason for feuding between us. We might even be of use to s each other. Wait, 
Why is this wolf talking? Is it magical or something? I am no wolf female. I'm a warg. It's surprising you could live to your age without learning the difference. Oh, it's no, never too late to teach a lesson to an insolent two-legged morsel. The beast slowly licks its teeth. Who are you calling a morsel, you pelt? Amiri glares at the beast, her hand on her sword. You say we could be useful to each other. Bring me someone delicious. Three or four bodies will be enough, and I, as a sign of gratitude, will tell you where the old traveler buried his chest. Uh, an old traveler, you say? A very old, lean, flavorless traveler. The war grins, almost smiling. No, I'm not interested in this. As you wish, but consider my offer. You may yet think of something. Who are you? Who are you? You may call me... You may call me... Grark. Grark. I lived here far longer than the rulers of those foolish tribes. I've seen much and eaten many. What do you know of the war between the kobolds and the bites? Only that my pack enjoys it. The warg snorts and licks his lips. Of course, I only eat fresh meat. And die! We cannot leave such a dangerous, such dangerous animals to live in our future lands. Slay the beast. Good. I love fresh meat. Victory. Okay, so we are pretty much down, down in our luck as far as certain things go. Do bardic inspiration? Do we have her fight defensively? Would help? Maybe. Make sure the other... Oh. We have more wolves. Okay. Uh, let's try and pick off the, the little ones. Okay. Any others even remotely close to injured? We don't, and Amiri's... Uh, she's almost down. Oh, do we do positive energy? Really? And of course, we have no healing potions on her, of course. Because I'm a dingus. Well, luckily, I can just load these up. Sweet. How are they even hitting her? 24 AC is nuts. Well, she's just going to chug a log. As that's kind of our best immediate option while we work on this. Let's see, she is, she is raging. We got the buffs. Switch over to fighting defensively as well. Okay, so she's not dying so much anymore. That's a good sign. And then we can kill, oh, nope. We should probably kill the side wolf. Oh, and she's down. All right. Up much longer. But we're gonna we're gonna go camp immediately after this. Probably. Oh, that's healing Gargarf. Good to know. So that that heals all nearby party members as well. Okay, what else do we have? I daze him. May I nope. way to use spell? Uh, what else do we have? Touch of fatigue. I could do touch of fatigue. Touch of undead abilities. Other spells. I do have your piercing scream. Mage armor. I do have a couple extra magic missiles. We probably can keep hitting them though. So fragile. Avenge me. Lost. Well. This ain't going hot. Yeah, we took a lot of damage immediately. This guy is tough. Wrecked the whole party. We had the wolves, but we did not have the, uh, the grogger. Well. Not much I can so do for it. Except for maybe 
pelt all of my oh I don't have a whole uh, lot of magic missiles. Sorry. Was lost in thought. I am yours. Because if I can throw her immediately into fight defensively and have her go forward. That may may not be a bad idea. Okay. I am your shield. Time becomes distance. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, so now she's fighting defensively. And you can charge the wolf. Okay. So that kills some of them. So we pretty much have to start pelting Grarak with magic missile. And not healing him this time. Not a whole lot of immediate damage. Let's spread out a little bit more. Well, I got these scrolls for a reason. Oh god. I might not be able to hurt this sucker. This won't kill me. Yeah, I might have to come back in a level. I always survive. Jesus. How much HP does he have? This went even worse than last time. But he also does like 16, 13 damage? Yeah, no, whatever. This warg is not buff your fighters with shield. I don't think. So I was doing like 5 damage to him and it didn't even look like I'd, I'd scratched him. So we're going to come back to him at a later date. I don't know how long, but uh, yeah, no, he is. He is not meant for me right now. Cause yeah, I could do some buffs. I could I could go rest beforehand. There's a bunch of things I could do, but I don't think it would do a dang doodle. Not really. See, none of my characters have accessories equipped. I don't have that many accessories. I have like one ring to the ring that might be cursed, and I like don't trust using it. Okay, so we do have a couple of overgrown passages that we can check out. I was really hoping we could get to the next level before we got that. Yeah. Because, yeah, we have the overgrown passage here. Which will either... It'll probably get me to a secret zone. Yeah, we'll come back to that later. But, yeah, this is a level 2 party. We don't have accessories to begin with. Let alone any to equip. 